Hello kids, let's learn about addition today. Addition. This is Stacy. Hi Stacy. She is holding two apples. Now her friend Ben gives her one more apple. Let's count how many apples Stacy has now. One, two, three. That's right. So two apples plus one apple equals three apples. Interesting. Addition is when we combine two or more numbers to get a new total. This is Ben. He is holding four balloons. After a while, two more balloons come flying and Ben grabs them. Let's count how many balloons he has now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Ben had four balloons and when he added two more, he now has six balloons in total. We use a symbol that looks like a cross called the plus sign to show addition. The result of adding numbers together is called the sum. Other words we use in addition include add, plus, combine, together and total. Okay. Look, we have three soccer balls right here. Now watch carefully as two more soccer balls roll in and join the group. Let's count them together. We started with three soccer balls. We kept counting on starting after three, that is four and five. So three plus two equals five. Isn't that easy? That is called counting on method. Counting on. That's right. Counting on is an easy way to add numbers. In this method, we usually start with the bigger number. For example, let's add 4 plus 2 in 4 and 2, which is the bigger number? 4. 4. You are right. Keeping the bigger number 4 in mind, we count on starting after 4 two more times. That is 5 and 6. So, 4 plus 2 equals 6. Counting on is an easy method to do addition as we don't have to count starting all the way from the beginning. For example, in 4 plus 2, you start with 4 in your mind, then instead of counting all the way from 1, you count on 2 more, that is 5, 6. Right. Here we have 6 flowers. Now watch as 4 more flowers join the group. So what is 6 plus 4? To make it easier, let's do the counting on method. You start with 6 in your mind. Let's count on starting after 6. After 6 comes 7, 8, 9 and then 10. So when we add 4 more to the 6 flowers, we keep counting on and reach 10. That means 6 plus 4 equals 10. Interesting. Now let's do addition using symbol objects. Can you tell me what is 5 plus 4? Let's do addition using some cubes. We'll start with 5 cubes. Now let's add 4 more cubes. To find the total, let's count on starting after 5. So after 5, we count 6, 7, 8 and 9. That means the total or the sum of 5 plus 4 is 9. 5 plus 4 equals 9. What is 3 plus 3? Let's use some paper clips this time. Start with 3 of them. Add 3 more paper clips. To find the total, let's count starting after 3. So after 3, we count 4, 5 and 6. That means the total of 3 plus 3 is 6.
Now let's do addition using number lines. Number lines? A number line is a straight line with numbers placed at equal intervals along its length. Number line is a math tool that helps us count and add subtract numbers. Let's use this number line to find the sum of 5 plus 2. To add numbers using number lines, you always move forward to the right. Okay, let's start. Can you find the number 5 on the number line? Here you go. To add 2 more to number 5, let's make 2 jumps to the right. So after 5, we jump to 6 and then 7. Now we have landed on number 7. So 5 plus 2 equals 7. Yes. Let's do another addition using the number line. This time, can you find what is 6 plus 4? First, let's locate the number 6 on the number line. Here it is. To add 4 more to 6, let's make 4 jumps to the right from number 6. After 6, it is 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, what is the number that we have landed on? 10. 10. You are right. So, 6 plus 4 equals 10. Let's try adding with our fingers. Can you tell me what is 5 plus 1? First, hold up 5 fingers. Now, we need to add one more. So, lift one more finger. Let's count all the fingers together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means, 5 fingers plus 1 more equals 6. See how easy it is to add using your fingers? Can you tell me what is 4 plus 4? First, hold up 4 fingers. Now we need to add 4 more. So lift 4 more fingers. So let's count starting after 4. 5, 6, 7 and 8. Yes! That means 4 fingers plus 4 more equals 8. Now let's learn how to do addition using 10 frames. 10 frame is a rectangular box divided into 10 equal boxes or spaces. A 10 frame has 2 rows of 5 boxes each. This is the first row. And this is the second row. You can show numbers in the 10 frames by filling each box in the 10 frame. When the first row is full, we have 5 objects. And when both the rows are full, we have 10 objects. Now let's add using the 10 frame. Can you tell me what is 5 plus 5? Let's begin by placing 5 counters in the 10 frame starting from the first row. Now let's add 5 more to the 10 frame. Here we go. Let's add all the counters together. Now there are 10 in total, which means 5 plus 5 is 10. 5 plus 5 equals 10. Next, what is 7 plus 2? Let's begin by placing 7 counters in the 10 frame starting from the first row. Now let's add 2 more to the 10 frame. Here we go. Let's add all the counters together. Now there are 9 in total, which means that 7 plus 2 is 9. <laughs> Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.